The History of Ross This is a little insight into who I am, what I've inspired, and things I can lay claim to being. I have given my name to many places worldwide, or inspired place names, namely my shelf, which I've bolded for your ease of reading. United Kingdom, Ross, a historical area in Scotland. The County of Ross, also known as Ross Shire, and Ross and Cromarty, later administrative areas which include most of, or all of Ross. Ross on Wye, Herefordshire, Ireland, New Ross, County Wexford, Ireland, Australia, Ross, Tasmania, a town in the Midlands of Tasmania, Canada, Ross River, a community in the Yukon Territory, New Zealand, Ross, New Zealand, a gold mining town on the west coast of the South Island, United States, Fort Ross, California, a former Russian fur trade outpost, Ross, California, not the same as Fort Ross. Ross, Indiana, Ross, North Dakota, and Ross County, Ohio. Ross Sea in the Antarctica, a deep bay on the Southern Ocean in Antarctica. Ross Ice Shelf, an ice shelf near the Ross Sea. Ross Island, an island on the Ross Sea. Extraterrestrial. Ross 248. A star system approximately 10.32 light years from Earth. Ross, a lunar crater on the Earth's moon. Also, my name and birth have inspired others to choose the name Ross. It's a name typically for males, but is also typically a family name for people of Scottish descent, Clan Ross. The name of Scottish origin and means good looking. Some of the more standout ones are as follows. Bob Ross, painter. Diana Ross, American singer. Glenn Ross, UK strongman slash power lifter. Jonathan Ross, television presenter and film critic, even if he is a twat. Laura Ross, chess player. Maurice Ross, Scottish footballer. Ricky Freeway Ross, major cocaine dealer in the 1980s. Ryan Ross, guitarist and lyricist for Panic! at the disco. What I'm less proud of. Shaval Ross, actor. William Ross, a fictional character from the Star Trek universe. Even Lucas got in on the act. Ross Noble, comedian, albeit not very funny, but he went the step further and took the name Ross as his first name. Ross has rose to fame with his acting skills. He has played a small part in Macbeth. He was secretly J.R. in Dallas. The R was an abbreviation of Ross. It was also Ross, Ross's stint on Friends, the Shite Us sitcom. Ross has also appeared in a series of Irish books wrote by Paul Kelly, telling his life story. Ross has once been in the Marvel Universe underneath the alias of Thunderbolt Ross. He is not proud of this. Ross has also been the following. Two defunct automobile companies, one of which was a steam-powered automobile producer, a school of business in Michigan, a British fishing group, an eight-week maths program, a lens-making company, heart surgery, a division of Abbott Laboratories, a Cali-based department store focusing on off-price clothing, a university in the island of St. Kitts, Kitts and Dominica. A play by Terence Radigan. An acronym. A Russian martial art. A bicycle company. A semiconductor company in the 80s and 90s. A rifle. A Fletcher class destroyer that was this that was sea mined twice. The only destroyer in history to survive this. They call me the Great Destroyer. Trent Reznor of the Nine Inch Nails Year Zero track in honor of my bravery. An Arlie Burke class destroyer. A minesweeper. In his free time, Ross has been known to make people happy while skies are gray, namely 17 Welsh people and a female masquerading as a doctor. 
Ross has been known to enjoy fine rum, beers, and a cigar. Ross has never confused himself with a toaster. Ross also has a phobia of text messaging in the shorthand. Ross is a fan of Black Adder, but not really the first series. Ross is mortally afraid of Brian Blessed. Ross has once attacked Brian Blessed, but was overcome by his beard. Ross is a fan of the works of James Plunkett, but not so much PG Wodehouse. Ross has no ambition to visit his county in Ohio. Feel free to put forth questions to Ross on his musings and inspirations. Thank you for your time. The History of Ross This 